I'm about to give you the template to creating peace and serenity in all aspects of your life. Nah, I'm just gonna tell you how to save some templates using Pinnacle Studio. Y'all crazy. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create and save templates using Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. So let's jump right into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Before I get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get to templating. If you regularly create videos that follow a similar model or shot list and you want to speed up your workflow, this is the video for you. It's all about saving those templates so you can easily create videos. For example, my YouTube videos start off with me saying something quirky and in my intro plays, I explain what the tutorial is about, I show you guys the tutorial, and then I end the video with a call to action. I do this every time I make a video. Now, Pinnacle allows you to create project templates of your videos by creating placeholders that allow you to replace the elements of your project without having to start them over from scratch. I can have my intro always there and a placeholder for my little quirky thing at the beginning and then a placeholder for me to do the tutorial. All of that quick and easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to get it done. So here in the timeline, I have a video that I created. This was a video for my son's science fair doing my son's homework for him. You know how it goes, people. You know how it goes. So basically this video has a lot of stuff going on in it. You got the intro, you got the beginning, you got a little crawl, you got music down here, a title, uh, you got a background of the stars, and then you got all of these clips here and titles and all of this jazz. And then guess what, down here you got voiceovers and you got music and you got audio ducking, you got all of this jazz going on. Lots of stuff, right? So if I wanted to create something that used these effects, as you can see there's effects in some of these clips, and if I wanted to have everything applied to it, basically, when I create the template, it will keep these effects for any of these placeholders that I create, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and create a template. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Save Movie as Template. So then it opens up the editor to save your template. So what you do here is you go through and you select the file that you want to replace. Anything that is unchecked will be included in the template. So if I want to include the star field, I don't want to check that. If I want to include my intro, I'm not going to check that. I'm just going to check the things that I want to create placeholders for. So these files, like uh, let's say these files of these stars, I want to replace all of these things. And the cool thing about it is it breaks it down by section. So it knows that these are all little MOV files, right? And then, boom, that's all the video, right? So you see I'm in the video section. So now the audio section. So if I want the music to stay, the Star Wars opening crawl music to stay, but I want to replace the voiceover, so I'm just going to put a check for the voiceover, but I want to keep that science journal song there. I'm going to leave that. So I just want to replace the voiceover because we need a different voiceover for it. And then if there's any pictures and titles, we have those here. So if I want to replace these titles and pictures, I can choose which ones I want to replace. Let's say I want to keep the titles and I just want to replace any pictures. And I can select those. 
let's say I want to keep this background picture here and I can do all that stuff. I'll keep that and keep that. All right, so once I select all the things that I want to replace, I can click on replace with placeholder. Now doing this will create placeholders for you to add your video images or audio to the template whenever you use it. So now you can see what the template actually looks like. So you can kind of review it and say, okay, so I know I wanted to keep all this stuff in here and the music and well, I wanted to keep all the titles. I'm just replacing all of these videos and pictures that were used in this part of it. So I see that I have one through 13. And then here I have the music and then it has placeholders for all of the voiceover. So it looks like everything came out correct, exactly what I wanted to do. So now that I have everything set up how I like and I know all my placeholders are where I want them, I'm going to click on Save Template. So once I do that, I need to give this a name. And here's the extension. It's a PS template. I'm not going to replace that. I'm just going to replace the name and I'll call it Science Project. And I'll click on Save. So now it takes me back to the original timeline and the original project that I had open. So where's my save template at? Where's this thing I need to be able to get to it if I want to use it, right? Well, I'm going to go here and open up a new tab. And I'm going to go to the navigation bar and I'm going to go to montages and templates. Then I'm going to go to templates. And under templates, you'll find a section called my templates. So I'm going to click on that. And here you will see, here's my science project template that I created. So I'm going to use my left mouse button. I'm going to double click on this. Then it's going to say, hey, do you want to change the project that you were currently working on? If you made changes and you want to save it, click save. I didn't, so I'm going to click on don't save. And now the template is actually open in my timeline. So now I can go ahead and make one more adjustment so that I can drag things into the template. So let me just show you something. Let's say that I wanted to add something to this placeholder. And I say, hey, I wanna add this picture. And I drag it down here and I try to place it in there. It's not gonna do it. It's trying to insert it. So why well, I want to put it into my placeholder. What is wrong with you, Pinnacle Studio? What is wrong with you? Well, it's not Pinnacle Studio, it's me. So what I need to do first before I drag any clips into the placeholders is I need to change the timeline mode to replace mode. So I'm gonna go here, right now I'm in overwrite mode. So I'm gonna click on this little drop down arrow and I'm gonna choose this one here, it's called replace mode so that I can insert my clips into a placeholder. I'm gonna click on that. Now that I'm in replace mode, if I drag a clip, you see that it changes to pink and I could just let it go and now that clip is there. So I can do that with all of these. And you get the picture. I can just go ahead and drag them all in as I go. And now if I were to go ahead and play this or scrub the timeline, you'll see that the images that I added are now in these placeholders. And once I get to a position where I stop adding placeholders, you'll see that it'll just have the number of the placeholder that I can go ahead and drop information into. And as you can see as well, my titles, the backgrounds that I selected to keep are all still there. All that information is still available to me and it saved all those things and it just made placeholders for the things that I wanted placeholders for. And this will make it really easy to make any videos that you 
make on a regular basis like your YouTube videos. So that's it, people. Save as template all up in your face. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Fact X Back. Fact X Back makes corporate production and personal videos on his YouTube channel. So if you're into checking out some corporate production and seeing how that's done, or check out some of his personal videos, head over to his channel, check out a couple of the videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Fact X Back did, make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, head on over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one is pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk and chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.